What is going on, Collectors Optical 20 back for another video. Man, I was just going to create a preview for this, but apparently it's already been released, which is the Spider-Man comic book version. Um, I've seen people picking it up at, you know, at their local shop in Hong Kong. It's it looks awesome. Not going to lie. It's exclusive. Is it coming to sideshow though or did it already came to sideshow because i don't know the price for this let me see i uh i haven't been you know i saw this like maybe a week ago didn't really pay attention to it because i have no interest in it i had the previous spider-man the comic book version from ps4 and that was pretty cool not gonna lie that was pretty cool but when it comes down to it sold it i did um why did i do that i i just it didn't i didn't feel the connection as much as i felt it with the mcu spider-mans or you know like the there's so many spider-mans out there and as much as i like the look of the comic book version regardless if it's this or the ps4 version I just, I, I can't justify it. Because right now I have Garfield, the, um, I guess, the No Way Home. Oh, no, yeah. The No Way Home integrated suit. I have Toby coming up. So that's three Spider-Mans. I have the Night Monkey. That's four. I got the homemade suit. So that's five. I can't add any more. <laughs> That's that's practically it. I mean, as much as this looks cool and it's iconic, yeah, there's other figures out there that I, you know, I'd rather have. I'm not that I mean, I do love this eyes, you know, like the chrome eyes version and then you got the non-chrome. I I like the camera. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the stand. I I I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use that ever. Uh I do love the mini green goblin that it's included and look at how many spider-mans this guy have who, who is this cge rock you know i i sold my black and gold because again i was just like i'm just yeah i i got too many and then this is a pretty cool concept you know they put them in a comic book just rightfully so that makes sense it looks nice i like the you know the, the web shooter that he does have comic book version i just feel like he needs to be a little bit more muscular i felt like the uh, comic book version at, at least the ones that i've been reading back then he was kind of jacked and it's not like he's skinny here but it, it feels like he needs to be more defined but that's it you know other than that i think it looks great toe articulation i can see that there um you know it this has everything that a regular spider-man does have but in a different skin, so to speak, would it have, put it this way, would it have any value moving forward? If if that time comes and then you're like, you know what? I got to sell this. I got way too many Spider-Mans. I think so. I think this would have more value than most Spider-Mans out there, being that this is exclusive. The home, oh, not homemade suit, the... um. Classic suit Spider-Man, the one with a chimney. I think that's a chimney. That, that came with the um, lizard tail or something like that. That is one current figure that I sold. Because like I said, I just felt like I didn't need another Spider-Man. I, I was going to buy another figure and he has no room. So, you know, typically that's if I have no room, I would sell one to create room for that incoming figure. And Spidey was the first one that I picked up. Not not even a question. Because he he retained his value. I, I don't want to sell, even though I felt like that was a better figure than the Night Monkey. It's just that the Night Monkey one, how much am I going to sell it for? Like 120 Plus the base for that is really cool. Um, That base looks phenomenal. That would go great with my other bases you know that will come in from no way home so i i didn't really want to part ways with that but 
yeah, I, I think this is one of those figures just because of its the exclusivity factor to it. I think it would hold its value. I don't, if we're talking about like, I don't think it's going to shoot up as well. You know, like if you were expecting, hey, this is exclusive. Um, yeah, I don't think this is going to be like $500 anytime soon. Or in the future, just because of how many, how many there is. Um, the um, classic suit from PS4, that never really shot up in price. I was l- just lucky to be able to sell that at cost. Actually, it's a little lower than cost. I think I sold it for 250 That was 270 So, you know, and, and I sold it at a time where it was already sold out. It was already sold out and still... You know, but even at that, if you make me choose between those two, let's say this, uh, the other one, and then integrated suit, I would take integrated suit any day. Not because it's a better figure. I just feel like that's more of a, uh, that's what I'm drawn more into, I guess. Now, if you're more of a comic book fan, no doubt, pick this up. Can't go wrong with that. If you could, though. That's the thing. That's another hurdle in this, in this scenario. It's like, can you pick this up? Because it's so, it's going to be rare. And now you ask yourself, is it, yes, you could pick this up probably in the aftermarket. Like, you know, is it going to be worth it? Is it worth the hassle? Is it worth the price, the money that you're going to spend? Look at all these Spider-Man that you could have for lower a lower price. I don't know, man. For me, it's an easy one. I'd rather have, because I have a bunch of Wolverines now, and I just made a video about that Wolverine, but that is pretty unique to me. I don't have any yellow tiger stripe suit yet. The only one available is Sideshow. But I do have Wolverine from Hot Toys, you know, like the X3. Horrible. Um, but I do have some third party. So it's a, a, a different situation. Yes, they're the same character, but the suit, it's it's this is like Iron Man at this point now. I was thinking of pulling the trigger on Mark III the other night. But I was just like, man, I got like five other Iron Mans. I know I don't have Mark III yet. I used to have Mark III, but at the end of the day, he's like wearing red and gold. Should I just get Mark I? I'm still undecided, by the way, whether I'm going to get Mark I. Mark I is more on sale than Mark III, but I don't know, man. I don't know. But let me know in the comments. Are you going to hunt this down? How much are you willing to pay for this? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.